Hi guys, my name is Maria Toka and today I'm gonna try a new video format. I'm gonna design a music poster and uh, talk you through my design process. I will show you what exactly I do, but I'm designing a poster. Um, yeah, so let's just try how it goes. I'm assuming that it's going to be a little bit hard to design in front of the camera. It's a little bit intimidating, to be fair. And um, that's why I don't guarantee a great result. That's just a quick disclaimer. Okay, so let's get started. So today I'd like to design a music poster for a punk rock band called Destroy Boys. I've been listening to their latest album lately, which is called Open Mouth, Open Heart, and I've been really enjoying it. So I decided that aligns perfectly with my style and uh, that's something I could do, a music poster for them. It's not going to be a music poster like an uh, event announcement um, for their tour or something like that. It's just going to be like a fan art kind of thing based on uh, the title of their album, maybe some quotes from it. Maybe I will also add the list of the tracks in this album. Um, yeah, and some sort of imagery. So we'll see how it goes. So I start with creating a new document. I'm just going with my standard 45 to 60 centimeters. I'm going with resolution 200 because my laptop is super slow. I know that it's not the right way to do it. The right way to do it would be 300. But um, yeah, just forgive me for this ignorance. I did that on purpose create. This is a little bit intimidating like I said when you have no idea what you're gonna do. Obviously I looked through some references on Pinterest and I have very vague idea of what kind of style I want to use and we'll just go with that. I just know that I want it to be white typography and imagery on black background. I'm gonna turn the background black straight away then I'm gonna type the text I usually for my collages I do the text at the end of it but today as I haven't come up with the idea of the image I will start with the text I'm just gonna type the name of the band and the name of the album open mouth Okay, I think I'm gonna focus on typography more than the image, so we'll just play around with it. I'm probably gonna search for the images of the mouth uh, and it must be open and I will do collage of a few of them. I don't care about the quality because I'm gonna process it through lots of different filters anyway, so it's gonna be ruined in any case. And I'd like maybe something with the tongue. Again, it looks a little bit too polished. This one. This is really cool, actually. I don't know if that correlates with the, with the meaning of the song. Oh, this. I like this. When the teeth are not perfect. Like, I'm alright with the low resolution. So I'm just gonna cut them. Remove the mouths from the background. Yeah, I don't know how much I need to comment every single thing that I'm doing now because it's pretty self-explanatory just using a pen tool yeah I'm not sure if I'm gonna use three of them or only two I will try to make them interact with each other this is probably gonna be like a really shitty one because the first time doing it 
on camera. I don't expect anything well done from me. And you shouldn't as well. When something requires too much preparation, it's just doomed for failure. I'm gonna convert all of them to smart objects. Um, the next thing I do is um, uh, removing the color. I'm just pressing Command U and bring the saturation to minus 100. Also, one of my favorite things to do and the most, uh, the longest one, I choose in the font. It's gonna take 1000 years um, preparing you but I'll probably speed the process up so you, you won't have to watch all of this. Something like, obviously we're going for a really punky and grungy style here. Maybe something hand-drawn like this one I think could, could work. Okay, maybe I will go with this one. I'm just copying this layer and I'm gonna continue searching. I want to make it look uh, old and vintage because that's what I mostly enjoy doing. Okay. Oh, this is really nice, but I don't think it correlates with the style of the band. I think I need something really bold and chunky or maybe spiky. Yeah, I really love the idea of serif and maybe the name of the album will be sans serif or maybe we'll go with something gothic okay guys i think i've chosen i decided to go with these two obviously i'm gonna do a lot of manipulations with them but the contrast of this really sharp and spiky serif with this bold sans serif. I think it's, it's really, really cool. And uh, I'm a fan of this T letter. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna um, either play around with the font or with the image. I'm not sure yet. Probably I will play around with the image. Yeah, it just seems more interesting. So I have a couple of ideas of playing with curves, maybe to make it inverse colors. To be fair, I'm a fan of this kind of effect. These teeth, they're so ugly. I don't know, I love it. Yeah, maybe I will. We'll keep it like that. To me, it looks it looks beautiful <laughs> when it's ugly. Um, let's try the same thing. Maybe not exactly the same, but something something to do with the curves as well. Okay. Also, um, I like playing around with blending modes. Something like screen or lighten, lighten. Maybe even linear dodge. Yeah, I like how they overlap. Yeah, it seems like. This mouth is gonna bite this mouth, like this lip. Okay, and the third one. I like manipulating images to the point when it's almost unrecognizable, when you can't even tell what that is. That's the level of manipulation I usually go for. Because who, who cares what that is? As long as it looks cool. Okay. And these ones, first we will play around with layer styles. No, this is a little bit too much. Maybe something like that I would go for. Yeah, now I think it's time to play with filters. I'm gonna go for rough edges. That's what I usually do. Okay, I'm gonna combine all these three mouths and I will duplicate it. I'll always duplicate. And then I'm gonna add black background. I'm gonna merge them with black background put the um, layer mode into screen and now I'm ready to manipulate and apply filters also I, I converted it to smart object okay and now the most fun part is filter gallery okay yeah let's play with grain why not but you know actually the first thing I'm gonna do is splatter if you saw my video about how to make rough edges that was one of the ways uh, to apply splatter filter it makes these rough edges you can manipulate it you can make it of a different radius 
I think this one is all right, but I need it only for my edges. I don't need it for the whole image. That's why I'm duplicating it. And the second time I'm gonna turn it off or just to replace it with another filter. Okay, green. Green is actually really nice. Yeah, I love this part of the image. Yeah, I'm just quickly gonna try different effects that I might like and I'm assuming it's gonna take a while so maybe I will speed up this, this process. I think this one works pretty well. Gives this large grain effect, almost like in my tutorial about large grain effect. You can check it out if you're interested to learn more in depth about this effect. Okay. Oh, I was wondering why it didn't apply because I have screen mode. No, we, we will have normal mode. Okay, just destroy boys should be on the top. And the reason why we applied splatter the first time because we want the edges to be rough so I'm just gonna mask apply a mask to the top layer and to erase these edges with a soft brush and you will see all the magic happens right now I'm doing I'm applying it only to the edges because the main image I prefer to use from the top layer if that makes sense I think it makes sense in my head at least yeah the problem is this bottom layer it's not as contrasty so you will see this gray color comes out and I'm not really a fan of it I'd prefer it to be more black and white more contrasty and we can do that with uh, playing with curves I'm gonna do this to make this line more vertical. The more vertical it is, higher the contrast is. Okay, it's not really recognizable, but somehow it relates to, to the album, I guess. I don't know. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm really fan of this font now. It's called Jazzier. I can recommend it. But the only thing, I just need to correct the leading. I'm gonna apply a stroke to it. It will be the black stroke and an outer glow, so like double stroke kind of thing. I'm gonna make it a bit differently. Probably a bit wider stroke. Okay, an outer glow. I think this size is about what I'm looking for. Okay, looks nice. The next thing I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna distort the shape of this text. At least I will try. Switch between free transform and warp modes. Warp. And I need a grid a little bit smaller than 3x3. Three three. I'm gonna go with 4x4. Four four. That's just one way to do it. There are different ones. I'm just gonna play around. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this. Okay, it's already nice, but I'm not a fan of this, this like circle line. So I'm gonna manipulate it a bit more. Okay, so now this line, okay, I will try to explain. At first this line was like this, now it's a bit like this. And I think this looks a bit more interesting. Okay. Such a detailed explanation. And I'm gonna change the angle a bit. Okay. And now I'm not sure this is the right place for the name of the band. So I would probably shift the image to the top. Okay, I will just play around with the layout. I'm gonna combine these two layers together because they both represent the same things. Mouth is and I'm gonna select group. So I'll, I'll be able to easily move them around as one object without combining it into one object. I'm still not sure, maybe I kind of like the fact that both texts are overlapping. Yeah, looks interesting. Okay, 
I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with this. Another thing what I would like to do is to add a little bit more text. Yeah, in terms of text that I'm going to add, I'm going to add a quote from one of the songs from this album, which sounds like tired of being told who I am. Still not sure about the font yet. It definitely should be smaller than the name of the album. Yeah, I just added it just for filling this space. So regarding of hierarchy, I think the name of the band should be the biggest. The title of the album the second. I'm still not sure if if it looks right. I mean, it's not really centered. Okay, no, it's a little bit better. And I'm really, really annoyed with one thing here. I'm going to show you. I don't know. Let me know, guys, if you feel the same in these situations. This thing. It annoys me so much when two objects are really, really close together, but they don't touch. No, no, there's just... It, it, it's just painful to look at like they need to either overlap or to be further from each other but not not that now i'm gonna make them a little bit further yes i feel so much relief right now another a bit maybe random step i'm gonna add a solid color layer and i'm gonna make it beige gray and put it and select multiply layer mode and lock it do you see what i did <laughs> i already made it a little bit uh, i already made it look a little bit older than it is so i don't know it just sets the mood for a more vintage vibe i prefer working like that when it already feels vintage okay i will definitely change the font of this one i'm not sure which one yet this one looks like quite punkish or oh, this one i'm really fan of noia cabal the aerial black aerial black is <laughs> something that's gonna work no matter what let's try this one okay and i haven't finished manipulating this title to be honest so let's just finish it i'm gonna duplicate it again i'm duplicating everything because i'm too worried too anxious person to know that i'm not gonna change anything i need the opportunity to change now i'm gonna apply a little bit of gaussian blur at first because this black stroke is too sharp i want some room for manipulation and now I'm going to filter gallery who would have thought where else would I go my favorite place and I'm probably gonna apply several filters that's what I feel like I have no idea what this one already feels pretty good but not exactly what I want I will start with grain Well, I quite like this effect, but it's completely illegible. So no, I'm not ready to sacrifice legibility. Like I'm always for aesthetic over the purpose, but this is too much even for me. Uh, no, it needs to be at least a little bit legible. Oh yeah, I almost decided for what I'm gonna go for. It's still very illegible, no. The more illegible it is, the more I like it. To know, I don't like practical design at all, which is the purpose of design, like the main purpose. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. The only thing I don't really like is the letter E, just a little bit too light to my taste. It's not even a matter of taste, it's the legibility, I guess. I will try to fix that. Let's see if I can do it. Need to rasterize the layer, normal. Oh yeah, it works, it works. Forgot to comment what I'm doing. I'm using the burn tool, which makes certain areas darker. Really helpful tool, I recommend it. It, it becomes darker, exactly where I want it. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do, manipulating this text, because it's also very digital and no way I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna hugely manipulate it, just to make rough edges probably would be enough. So I'm gonna use the plugin 
that I use very very often in my collages. One click Granja Extreme Level. Maybe that's a bit too much. I think the problem is that the letters are too close to each other. So I'm gonna fix that and apply it again. It still looks a little bit too sharp comparing to the name of the band. So maybe I would do something about it, such as I'm gonna apply Gaussian Blur. I could even leave it like that, but I think I need to apply something like grain or noise. This is what I was going for. I'm still not sure about where it's gonna be positioned. I don't know, so far it looks good to me. Maybe I would say it more confidently if it actually looked good. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe I will experiment with different positioning of the words. Maybe. I also, another thing, I feel like adding some lines just for creating accents, highlighting, and I want the edges be not as round, a little bit sharper. I'm just erasing the edges. That's how simple that is. You can just play around. Maybe something like that. And I feel like I want more text, like a little text somewhere here. And I'm gonna add the date of release of this album, which is October 2021. I feel like it's too small. I would add something. Okay, I need to find the precise date of the release. I think that's what I need. I can do it in three lines. I'm not a fan of comma here. Something like that. And of course I'm gonna tilt it. So now the hardest thing is to find the right place for it. I think here. Maybe even here. Okay, I think I found the right place. The next thing I'm gonna do, add a little bit of leading. Also to make these two text blocks a little bit grungier. I'm gonna just apply my plugin. Yeah, I think this is just about right. Okay, I've made all the text blocks grunger and now we're almost done. Just the finishing touches in terms of applying textures, maybe some analog elements like scribbles, which is what I always like to add. And one more thing that bothers me now, the hierarchy. I feel like there's not enough of contrast between the name of the album, the title of the album and the quote. I think quote should be smaller than the title. Okay, I think this is pretty much enough. Okay, and the finishing touches, applying textures. My favorite layer mode is Exclusion. I don't know what's better. I think on, on top is a little bit better. And I would add more textures to it, to be fair. No, it's not cooler that it, than it was initially. Oh, sorry, I'm not gonna apply it right now. I also added a scribble to this poster and I think I'm done for today and um, here's the result. I think I'm gonna put it on a mock-up to make it look more presentable and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I applied my poster to a mock-up and this is what it would look like uh, hanging on a wall. Yeah, maybe it lacks a little bit of wrinkles, uh, but overall I think it's it's a good place. Let me know what, what you think, how it looks. So this is the final result. 
And thank you so much for watching and let me know uh, what you want me to design next time. I've already got some ideas what I want to design music-wise, music-related sort of thing. Because to be fair, I enjoyed it, the process. It's just a little bit unusual for me, but uh, it's really interesting practice. Okay, thanks so much for watching and see you next time.